here at the Venetian tonight. We have quite a few of those people involved in the Mountain West Conference. Ron, I believe the big spender he is, has coerced them into having dinner with him at Canaletto. Is that right, Ron? I am not paying the tab, though, tonight, Kara. That's, I want to I want to bring that out. But <laughs> we're at Canaletto's here, just away from our set here, just a little ways at St. Mark's Square here. With us to my left, Lavelle Edwards and John Robinson, a couple of coaches that have been around for quite some time. We'll talk to them in just a moment. But first to my right, we have the commissioner of the Mountain West Conference, Craig Thompson, is joining us. And let's talk, Commissioner, a little bit. You've got Mountain West Conference Media Day today and tomorrow here in Las Vegas. We know why you like coming to Las Vegas. Uh, it's places like this here at the Venetian and other things. I know you guys are over at the Four Seasons right now. This conference, let's talk about last season and what you guys were able to accomplish. Had three bowl teams last year. I know you're very happy about that. Is that op too optimistic this year to think you can repeat with three bowl teams? Oh, no. We, you know, we have the uh, Liberty Bowl in Las Vegas under contract, and there's no question in my mind that, that a third or fourth team from the Mountain West will be eligible and hopefully get placed into a bowl situation. We just have to be selective in where we're going and who we play. I know you're excited about having a lot of the games on ABC, which we are too, certainly, because that's the contract. You're in the second year of a seven-year deal with ASP, ESPN and ABC here. Uh, some of the games, some of the highlights, uh, some of the national games and regional games that you have this year. I know UNLV and Air Force are going to be playing on, on News 13 this year on ABC. Uh, it's a great schedule, Ron. We have uh, 18 national appearances set, and it's a tribute to these guys, Lavelle and John and the other coaches in the league, because they're willing to go out and play the types of people that will get us on national television. We have tremendous non-conference schedules. You're going to talk to Lavelle probably about his, maybe one of the toughest schedules in the country this year. Well, I do. Let's bring let's bring Lavelle in and talk to him about this right now. In fact, I, I think I think you've got the suicide schedule to start off the season at BYU. Virginia, you guys had a great game last year when you played Virginia. You didn't win it, but it was a fun game to watch. It was a great football game. you got Florida State on that schedule. They play some pretty good football at, at Florida State, but you're taking these guys on. Well, not bad. We open up with them on uh, August the 26th. The problem we have is going to Florida State, to Virginia, to Air Force Academy, come home on Thursday night uh, just for three days and play Mississippi State, who had one of the best defensive teams in the nation a year ago. And so that, that those first four games really are going to be very uh, testing for us. And uh, not only playing great teams in Florida State and Virginia, but playing in that heat and humidity and whatever, that's the thing that I worry about probably as much as anything. Coach John Robinson, you get to go to Provo this year. you got to be excited about that. It's an easy place to play. Teams go in there, and they, they have no problem with handling BYU over the years from what I hear. I know all <laughs> about Provo. I lived there from 1942 to 1946 when I was a little kid, so I uh, I got them all scouted. Oh, that's it's changed a little bit since then. But, but uh, a fun place to play, certainly. It is a great crowd and a great college football atmosphere. You had BYU here. You get to play them there uh, next year now uh, or this upcoming season. The Rebels obviously this year had a, uh, this past season had a hard time getting started in games. I know that was a real concern of yours. What are you going to do to try to get these guys first quarter, first half to get out there and go at it early on? Well, we're going to call our touchdown plays early, early in the game and get yeah. way ahead <laughs> and then and then then kind of hold on. Uh, you, we're, we'll be a more talented team, so we'll be more potent. I, I think. You know, when you have when you have the kind of people that develop skill, then you can use those things. If you don't have skill, you got to be a conservative team. So we we did the conservative, and now we're going to go the a lot more wide open. What is the word in the conference, uh, Coach Edwards, about UNLV and some of the skill players they've gotten this year? Jason Thomas leading the way at quarterback, certainly. Um, uh, John Robinson has some weapons this year, don't you think? Well, I don't think so, uh, there's any question about that. You know, and I, I think one of the uh, most exciting things that have happened to us, and as I said this a year ago when they hired John, that uh, in order for, I think, one of the, the, the things that, that's going to help us future as a conference is to have football become a presence in Las Vegas. If we get a presence in Las Vegas like we had in Phoenix and like we had in San Diego, now we got a chance to make that uh, the Las Vegas Bowl into a major happening like, like it happened in the other two because this is such a marvelous place to come as far as uh, uh, a bowl game and whatever. And I think they got the right man in John to, uh, to make that happen here. If, if it can be done, I think John will get it done. And uh, that's going to help with the whole conference. How far are you willing to go to help us on that? <laughs> <laughs> this is, of course, a rebel town, but there are a lot of BYU fans here. Of course, Lavelle, you've got a son that lives here in town here. A lot of people interested in hearing how your team's going to be this year. And it, the talk at BYU obviously starts at quarterback. Uh, what are you looking at this year? 
We have a couple of good, talented kids. They just haven't played, and uh, that's the nature of college football. You got to start somewhere every year, but uh, they're talented. Uh, we'll have a good football team if we can uh, survive that those early games. And uh, and as far as we're concerned, if we can uh, figure out a way to get over Air Force uh, in that third game. And then uh, with those other games that we have uh, playing there, hey, if we win one or two of them, great. If we don't, if we can just get a uh, get good experience and come out of that, we're going to have a good football team. And I think we'll be in a position to make a run for the championship if we can uh, come out of that thing healthy. All right, Craig, we're stalling for the pizza to come here eventually. Hopefully it'll be here soon. This conference here, now this, are you concerned about a lot of parity in this conference and teams just beating each other up and, and one team not going out there and rushing to a, let, let's say, the, the BCS Bowl as BYU had a, almost did one year and, and should have been one year? I think in the long run, uh, parity is going to be great for this league because we're going to build a league that people are going to want to go to our games, watch our games. It's going to increase attendance and the ratings, and it's going to be positive because if everybody's a contributor, if any given Saturday, you don't know who's going to win. I was at the UNLV Wyoming game, Wyoming's homecoming, and, and they came in, and Jeremy Rudolph had a couple big runs and surprised them, and UNLV got way up, and you don't know. You just don't know who's going to win on a given Saturday, and that makes for great drama, great television, and great uh, attendance. That second half was crazy. All the touchdowns were special teams or defensive touchdowns, and it was one of the great upsets, certainly, that UNLV was able to pull last year. And uh, so you're excited, I know, about Vegas being if not the headquarters for the conference, because you guys are in Colorado, of course, but sort of, with the conference basketball tournament being here for at least two more years, and uh, and the football, the, the bowl game, you guys having to tie in there. Well, the bowl game, the basketball tournament, media days, this is like a second home. We're looking at some uh, rental property over here to help cut the cost, <laughs> but as long as the four seasons will have us, I guess we'll try to come back, but it is a fabulous city, and I concur with uh, Lavelle that if we can get the uh, UNLV program, and, and John's going to get it done, we're going to have an opportunity to really increase this Las Vegas Bowl and make it one of the major attractions in the Bulls the season. All right, Craig, thank you very much. And John Robinson, Lavelle Edwards, thank you very much for joining us here live from the Venetian tonight here at Canaletto's. We'll get the pizza here in just a moment here, and we'll, we'll have a bite to eat besides just the water that we got going here. Kara, back to you.